super unconventional video, but today I wanna share with you guys a little project I was working on all day today, and that is my custom controllers for Series X and PC and all that. Uh, this company right here, Extreme Rate, not a sponsored video, but you gotta check them out if you're a gamer and you don't like the look of your controller, or if you're like me and you feel the Xbox Series X controller is cheap and you want something nicer, wow, let me just tell you, this looks so freaking good. After a day of tinkering with it, I tell you right now, it looks good. It really does. You could tell I was just starting out because I have little scuffs on it, trying to pry it off and, you know, it is what it is. But that's just that one controller because after I got my mojo going and then for the PC controller that I use, I was able to get everything pretty much perfect without any scuffs or anything. And oh, it's just so nice. And this is, this is, this is something that will cost you hundreds of dollars if you were to buy these controllers already finished, especially this one, the Project Scorpio Edition controller that I have right here that I customized. I got the gold inside. I got the gold buttons. The buttons took a lot of time. It was really hard to do because I'm, again, a beginner at this. But I tell you, it's worth the effort. And when you do it, you get a controller that's like no other. And I tell you, I have yet to see anybody with a Project Scorpio controller quite this nice. And you can do this kind of stuff yourself by customizing using this company right here. They're on Amazon. I literally just got the packages you guys see. They're just like right there. So it is what it is. It's one of those things that you can notice. And here I had to use the uh, dollar store uh, little screwdriver that I always use. It's from the Dollar Tree, literally one buck. And you have everything you really need to get this going as far as, uh, you know, prying it off. Because they, they give you tools and the screwdrivers are useful. You're absolutely going to need those. But the problem is the blue pry that they give you is virtually unusable because it will continue to like break and like be flimsy. So yeah, it's not good. I had to use a screwdriver. That's why I had those scuff marks. But then I figured out how to do it. If anybody does end up doing this, you want to start from the corners on the bottom of the controller and then pop those out. Do not start from the side. It's just going to be way harder if you do it that way. That's just kind of like a little tip after doing like three of these bad boys. By the second one, I figured it out. But yeah, the first one was a pain in the ass because I didn't know that. But either way, this is kind of something I wanted to share with you guys. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at, look at the drip, though. My God, the drip is real, man. I'm so happy. And I, and I kind of wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully you guys can get some enjoyment out of this. And, uh, you know, you guys can do this for yourselves. And I tell you right now, it feels good. You got the grip inside now. You got the grip on the triggers. But then you've got that smooth texture on the palms where it needs to be. And it doesn't feel so much like sandpaper. And it makes the Series X so much nicer to play. So, yeah. Just wanted to share that again. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video... This is freaking awesome.